And welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with the World's One playthrough uh, with the Aquarius, of course, update. And we're going to complete out in this special episode the Exocraft uh, mission. And it directed us to the space station to talk to this guy right here. Flag Bearer Yatandam? Ooh, notice that his name is red. How interesting. I really don't think it has to do with the... With the uh, I don't know. Maybe it does. But I don't think it has to do with the race. I really think it has to do with their lenient... Uh, which way they lean. I think he leans towards Atlas. But anyway. I, I demand a place on your throne, world interloper. Acceptance will grant you the glory of an exocraft and a Viking mech priest to administer its mass. Pray only that you have an exocraft terminal sufficient for my skills. Refusal? Refusal will result in my inevitable extermination. Be quick. The technician seeks work, claiming that they will be able to build and upgrade exocraft in my travels. Is that what you got out of that? Hire the technician. You are weak and unworthy of my skills, but I have no choice. I will flee to your vile world. I will become... I will. I will become an interloper. Okay. Flee away. Uh, let's see, we already got everything from here. I've been needing some ship upgrades. I'm going to check that out real quick just to see what this guy has. I don't remember. Stop waving at me, please. There we go. Uh, let's see. Purchase. I am needing... See, Infra Knife, huh? Hmm. That's interesting. Starship Shield, that's okay. Photon Cannon, see. We don't have any... See, I really want the pulse engine upgrades, but they don't have anything but a C-class. All right, so we're going to head back to our base now. There we go. And let's go meet our Exocraft guy. Now, we should have all the materials required to build what he wants us to build as we go. So that's what I'm hoping for here. I'm hoping, hoping that this will be a quick episode and we'll give it a blast through this real fast here. So let's see what happens here. And we are here. He should be standing over there. There he is. Hello, buddy. Let's see how rude you can be to me here. Black bear are your tandem has calmed since I last saw them, though I still feel a sense of dread when they're within their eyes of the paranoia that has sustained them across the stars. Greet them. Interloper, I will do as I promised. I will build a geo bay from this schematic, and my exocraft shall be yours, unworthy though you may be. Okay. Now, excuse me. I must ensure this location is defensible, should my people try to find me. A technician asked me to reconstruct a roamer geo bay, which I will be able to access their ex from which I'll be able to access their exocraft. Except, Gra, of course. This bargain greatly favors you, interloper. My exocraft has seen much glory. Okay, whatever. So we need five metal plates, two ion batteries. We got the batteries, and we need fifty paraffinium, which we have in storage. Let's grab it. I'm gonna build everything out here. As far as those are concerned. Should I build a back entrance to this place? Alright, storage container. Paraffinium. We got twenty-five we got seventy-five of it. Uh let's put away the Mordite. We don't need that anymore. Where did I get that? Oh, he must have just given that to me and I didn't even notice. Alright, real quick. I just want to Let's see, paraffinium. I want to do this real quick here. And just make a little bit extra because we are running very low. Two twenty-five. That'll be a good start. So we need to build that. Let's go over here. Once we can get over there, there we go. There's our door. I'm gonna build all of the exocraft over here. Uh, we need metal plates. I forgot about that. We have plenty of that one. Two, three, four, five. Now we can build it. All right. Uh, let's see. Think like this ought to do. Yeah, perfect. And it's facing the correct way. Excellent. All right, so we got the roamer. That's done. Now what? Return to the technician. Okay, good. Hello, technician. As he's waving at me for some reason. Yeah, I know you're right there. Interloper, have you constructed a Romer Geo Bay? Gra, tell me once you have. We must scan this world. We must find its signals, its secrets. Confirm. Good. Here is a blueprint for an Exocraft radar. The augmentation will allow you to discover buildings and signals from afar. But Interloper, know that it disgusts me that you lack so much knowledge. Okay, dude. Chromatic metal and a microprocessor. 
Do not delay, interloper. You have the means now set about the construction of the signal booster. I do not feel know how I feel about this warrior, but I do know whether I have made a mistake. Do not know whether I have made a mistake, but there is nothing to be done. The Viking has honored their word. I will honor mine. The Viking asked me to install the signal booster in my new exocraft. Except. Okay. So, since it happens to be right there, uh, before we do, let's go to our exosuit and put in our motor uh, upgrade here real quick. I'm going to put all these guys in the different areas real fast here because we need it. There we go. Okay. So we're going to build the Exocraft radar, which requires a microprocessor, which we can do down here. Uh, let's see. There you go. And I have the carbon nanotube. Good. Good. Radar built. All right. We're done. It is for this that my people shall exterminate me, and you can only blather. Gra, to work, to work, interloper. Oh, that's because I didn't wait long enough. Not believe. Gra. Give it a moment. I gotta wait for the icon to appear over his head. I forgot. My bad. There we go. Now we can talk. Once we have the Exocraft radar, we can map this planet. Are you ready for what happens next? Black Bear, are you tandem? Waits, expecting me to announce my success from the construction of the radar. Hand in. Your timing is fortuitous, Traveler. Take these blueprints. Okay. Got a mounted cannon. Needs pugnium and copper. <clears throat> in your absence, I have made a grave discovery. There are sentinel depots on this world. No kidding. Gra. They are everywhere, even in this last refuge. Track one down, Traveler. Destroy the depot and bring me its precious contents for use in my work. Like Barry, a tandem requires for me to use my Exocraft radar to locate a depot and steal the material from within. They will use the substance to create an Exocraft boosters. Except. Hurry, Interloper. Do not permit the Sentinels to pollute your world. Okay. Okay. So we've returned to the technician, which we already did. Um, I gotta install the mounted cannon. So we need Pugnium and we need Copper. I thought we had Copper on our ship. Let me just check. We do. Okay. I guess we're just too far away. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that was it. All right. So let's go to the Exocraft. We're going to put the count cannon. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to put the radar over to the side and put the cannon in there. So Pugnium and Copper we had on our ship. So we're all set. Okay. So as you can see, objective complete. I just got to wait for it to catch up. Oh, I got to return already. Okay, done. Have you obtained the materials I seek in Tilipper? Divine elements forged from the Sentinels themselves? They will shield us from their sight. Only well, wants 100 gold. That's not what they, they're made of, but whatever. Good, I shall use it to forge Exocraft boosters for future expeditions. There it is. That's very Carbon nanotubes. Okay, good. We got everything we need to do that. None of us lives for lives life alone, Traveler. All of us form attachments, and I must shed this last vestiges of mine. I left my con consort and spawn behind in my homeworld. My crimes were my own, but they... I must know what has happened to them. They have sent me an encrypted transmission. You will use the Exocraft boosters to reach it before my brethren inevitably defeat deleted. In the process, we can, mi we can pull mining laser technology from the network. Gra, we will kill two Grek with one blast. Black Bear, you tend and requires me to use my Exocraft boosters to reach a terminal quickly enough to receive an encrypted te transmission. They believe we may also acquire an Exocraft mining laser blueprint from the Viking network. Except, Be vigilant. Be quick. I require this message. I must know what happened to those I left behind. Alright. So we need the booster. That's not it. Oh, that. What we need. Uh, let's see. Two over here. All right, next to this guy. All right, shall we? So we need to go somewhere. Location received. Trying to get in the roamer, not recall it. Now roamers are different. They're hard to get through as far as water's concerned. So this is going to make it a little tough to get there. So, but it plows through everything. Just keep that in mind. It will kill animals and everything else under the sun. But when you hit water, watch what happens. Even with a boost, it takes forever to get through water. See? 
So keep that in mind. It does take some time. How far away is this place? All right. And if you hit the space bar on your on your uh, control here, wow. Okay. Because I'm not on the ground, it won't go, and it keeps trying to boost up in the air. So don't try to jump when you're underwater. Just use your boosters. Oh, gotta wait till you're on the ground. Try to keep your nose down. Oh, trying to get up there again. But this may not have been the greatest place to go. Here? Oh, I thought I was going to boost right out of there. Ugh. This is annoying. There's usually a timer. Okay, we're back on solid ground. Okay, we got to reach the terminal in five minutes. How far away is it? Three and a half. I'm like cutting it close, huh? best thing is if you can get some hills going, you can really get some distance. You can really boost quickly. Try not to get into uh, caves, by the way. That's pain in the neck. Try to get out of those. It's just a tough thing to do. Now, what we're probably going to do next time, rather than take the roamer, yep, you guessed it, we're going to just take our ship. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We're going this way. Boy, who chose that place for a base? Good grief. Now, when you're doing a permadeath run, like the stranded expedition, not the expedition, pardon me, uh, the alternative to the permadeath no starter ship challenge that was developed by Beeble Bum, um, you get a roamer sometimes. And it's a really cool ship to have. Oh, look at this. What we find? Interesting. Another building. All right, how much time we got left? We have a minute 30 to get there. And our timer is not showing on the right side. I don't know why. What I might do is I might call in my ship get this done a little quicker. The roamer will also not protect you from the elements. Keep that in mind. Alright. Looks like we made it. Three minutes to spare. Good. Definitely flying back. All right, here we go. Loading transmission. Notice it's in purple this time. Interesting. Decrypting subspace frequency error interception. Witness the price of your heresy, fugitive of the Viking. Know that there is no sky in which we cannot find you. No system to which you might flee unscathed. Hide then in the depths of this galaxy, for we are patient. Know that your spawn wept like mewling geck as we cut them down. That we killed your consort as they fled, leaving the others behind to suffer. Where shall you ever find peace knowing these things? End transmission. The message is not what I expected. The technician told me to retrieve a transmission from their family, but this, I must return and decide what to do. Before the transmission closes, I pull the Exocraft mining laser blueprint from the network. Okay, there it is, which I can install right now. So what a horrible thing to have to deal with, right? I'm going to go ahead and install this right now. That's taken care of. That way it's out of my... Out of my system here. Okay, good deal. So we're going to head straight back 
and buy Starship instead. Takes a little less time this way. That is their landing pad, not mine. There we go. And we can always pull the roamer back in with the recall button. Okay, we're done. Let's head in. Much quicker, don't you think? My preparations are almost complete. Soon I will purge myself of my old life, of my old detachments, to commit fully to what I must become. But, even if I will remember nothing, I must know. I must know, Traveler, have you retrieved the transmission? They are frenzied at my approach, excited. Whatever this transmission might contain, whatever system it was, has been sent from, it would seem to matter a great deal to the Viking. I am going to say that I have. A technician tells me they are going to clean their mind to prepare for the holy task. Before they remove all of the thought, they wish to know what happened to their family. I must know, Traveler. Tell me what my consort said. Tell me of my spawn. Please, I have waited so long. The technician was expecting to intercept a message from their consort and spawn, but instead, instead I discovered that their family has been murdered. Killed. Killed murdered by other Viking in retaliation for their heresy. As they stand before me, expectant, nervous, they do not know whether to tell them the truth. I always tell the truth, folks. I don't want to say that their family's happy. I'd love to do that, but I... Leave me, traveler. The Vi we Viking prepare for death our whole lives, but this... Who am I now... Who I am now will die with them, lost in the obliteration of time and memory. Thank you, friend, for what you have done. When we next speak, I will be reborn. Okay. So, you know, not the best of news, of course. There we go. Back to the technician. I am, I am reborn without attachment. I can focus now, focus on what I must do. Ra, you will require a mining beam in the days to come. Construct one and I will craft you a nomad exocraft befitting an acolyte of Nal. The face, their face is different beneath their eyes, beneath their soul. They have changed irrevocably. Where once they would insult me with meaningless threats, now they speak only of a singular purpose. Where once they would be capable of happiness or grief, now they only care about their cult, about their supposed purpose. The technician asked me to build an exocraft mining laser, promising to craft me the blueprint for a new exocraft, the Nomad. Agree. The world will change. It must. It has to, Traveler. Or else all of this, everything we have done, it will evolve. It will have been for nothing at all. Okay, we've already made that. I think, right? Yes. Yes. See? Checkbox. And... The icon should appear over his head any second. There we go. I have you built the mining laser. I hope you enjoy working with Viking technology. Nothing refines the design of a machine like using it in combat, even if that combat is against the earth. Confirm it is built. Okay, we got the Nomad Geo Bay. We need five more metal plates. We get two ion batteries, which we have, and 50 more paraffinium. Excellent work. Your exocraft mining laser should be powerful enough to extract even magnetized ferrite from this planet. Witness the art of the mech priest that I can create such marvels. Gra. This universe is a mystery, fat traveler. Lives are spent in solving it. We shall do our part. The te technician needs me to gather magnetized ferrite, a hyperdense material, mineral, that must be refined. My life will be made easier for the exocraft mining laser able to purify, pardon me, harvest pure ferrite from large deposits. The technician will use this craft... Use this to craft an upgrade for my exocraft radar. Except, They say the Viking first rose to the stars and ships crafted from pure magnetized ferrite. Who knows what we will accomplish. Alright. We already got it. But. Let's go ahead and put the Nomad Geo Bay down, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. Real quick. So this one is better. It'll actually go across water easily. So I'm going to put it right here. Let's turn it a little bit. Wrong way. There we go. That way. That looks good. Okay. Returning to the technician. Have you brought the 
The magnetized ferrite traveler, the signals are out there. I know they are. All you need is a signal booster capable of detecting them. Give them the magnetized ferrite. I give the tech knight the ferrite they requested. As they work with it, I examine their station. It is barren now, lacking the flaws, the personality of the previous equipment. I cannot help but miss the way they were before, but this, but for all this newfound efficiency and focus, the flaw of their individuality forever gone, drowned within their great purpose. We have radar amplifier. Requires two microprocessors to build that. Okay, good. Got everything. Take this signal booster. Upgrade it. When it is constructed, I have something else for you. Compensation for your work. I have been analyzing your exocraft telemetry, you see. It seems that my previous incarnation did not even provide you with the most basic in exocraft weapon upgrades. Gra, forgive the Viking that I was, Alkalite. It was not polite to withhold firepower. The technician requires me to craft an upgrade for my signal booster, promising me reward upgrades to my weapon systems. Your technology multiplies. Soon your exocraft will be the envy of all you encounter. Go, Traveler. Build your upgrades. I will continue my great work. Okay. So, do we put it in the Nomad or should we stick it in? A, no, you know what? Let's stick it in the other exocraft. It just makes sense. No, not summon. All right. Now, let's go ahead and put it in here. So, we need that. We need two microprocessors, so... One. There we go. Two. All right. And now we can build it. Done. So that is completed. Back. Objective complete. Just wait for the icon to appear. Yep, we know. Anytime now. Thank you. Okay. Gra, the blueprints for your weapon upgrade are ready, interloper. Have you improved your scanning equipment? Yes? Yes. The technician gives me blueprints for weapons upgrade, but as they pass them to me, an alert begins to sound in their terminal. Their search is almost complete. A scan has found something. That you chose this world of all worlds to make your home out of infinite possibilities. I did not think it possible, but my scans have uncovered the truth. Now themselves visited this place. We shall uncover their final words. Use your upgraded exocraft radar to locate this planet's abandoned structures. Bring me the nanite clusters contained within and I will use them to forge a new acceleration modules for the trials ahead. Viking claims that this now, the namesake of their cult, once visited my planet. Cannot know if this is true. I walk the worlds of ruins and wonder at these peoples, at their obsession with their past, at their hatred that torn them asunder. I wonder what the future might hold, what secrets might echo through the hub of creation. The technician requires nanite clusters, purple, to initiate their final ritual. They have an exocraft boosters waiting for my return. Accept. Read carefully, traveler. In all abandoning things, there grows a rot. Take the nanite clusters and leave before something notices your theft. Okay. So we have a upgrade module. This goes in here. Okay, looks like it is linked to it. That's good. And before we go... Oh, we have to return. Sorry. Have you obtained the nanite clusters? The hour draws late and your exocraft update, update upgrade awaits. Yes, we're going to give them the nanite clusters. So I guess we didn't have to go to the terminal. The technician takes the nanite clusters. As they hold them, they appear to enter some strange trance. After a moment, it is done. There is a strange look behind their eyes. Flag bearer Yatandam informs me that they have taken communion with their ancestors. They know not... They know what they need to do. You notice this is in this particular thing. It's like he's talking, but he's not. Traveler, my work is complete. I have overridden the ley lines. Charged their holy data. They have revealed to me a monolith, a tomb for the final prophecy. If you go there before the ley lines close off, you and you alone will uncover the truth behind my species, the mystery for which Nal died. A monolith has been activated. If I reach it quickly enough, I will gain this forbidden knowledge. Except... The technicians serve their holy purpose, driven to obliterate their own personality in pursuit of this very day, this very moment. I do not know if their sacrifice will be in vain. Okay. Get a boost module. Let me go ahead and put that in real quick. Strange that it doesn't seem to link properly. Okay. And monolith detected. Ten minutes to get there. But here's what we're going to do. We're not going to get there by car. We're flying. 
Because it doesn't say I can't do it. <laughs> you just expect us to use the roamer or something like that. Yeah, see, we would have to cross an ocean to get there. And it's on an island, I'm guessing. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow, this would have taken forever to get here. Monolith it is. Alright, good deal. While we're here, hit the knowledge stones, get some words. What? 15 words, okay. I'd like to go on to number 16 and 17, please, too, if you'd stop interrupting. Wish I could say that in Gek. Alright, up we go. I approach the monolith. I am engulfed in its terrible truth. I see its words in the text of a thousand tongues, in the ephemera, eph ephemera? ephemera of countless stars. I'll have to think about it later. Submit. Know that I heard the word of the atlas where Herc had not heard nothing. This is the voice of Nal. You notice it's in yellow, by the way. That means standing by. They haven't taken sides, but they're keeping neutral to everything. All right. Or Herc had heard nothing. I witness events that occurred millennia before my awakening. I see two Vikings standing before a red glow, asking it of the universe. Submit. In their rage, in their impotent jealousy, Herc struck me from the mountain, and I saw the truth of what the monolith had said, that my end would not be an awakening, that, that my end would be an awakening, that in this dream nothing should perish. I see a Gek and a Corvax waiting side by side before me, and before the vision ends, I see a vision of something I have not seen before, of something that does not belong in this or any place, of hatred, grief, despair, of something that is yet to come. Witness. Or so it would be until the coming of the last traveler. So it would be until the destruction of realities. Know this, the final testament of Nal. I see the end of time, the end of all things, and in that crimson, crimson light there is a figure, its hand held out before eternity. I see all this, and then it is over. The monolith has nothing more to show me. Leave. I leave, shaken by my experience. As I go, I feel something right behind me, breathing, watching. When I turn, it is gone. Ooh. Pretty cool. Where am I, ship? There it is. All right. Cool story. At least in my mind. It's amazing what Hello Games has developed. They really have created an intricate, not intricate, but just a, a, a deeper storyline to everything, and it's pretty neat. My landing pad. It says I have an exocraft under it too. That's weird. Anyway. There it is. Good. Alright. Back to our flag bearer. I envy you, traveler, to see the words of Nal themselves. Gra. With this discovery, you have indicated the actions of a thousand martyrs, traveler. You deserve your reward. You deserve the Colossus, the largest exocraft in my arsenal. Use it and strike terror upon your upon our enemies. The Viking believed that their ancestors ancestor Herc received wisdom from a great monolith, initiating a war against the Sentinels and slaying Nal the objector. The monolith I discovered proves that this history is a lie. Nal was honored with a vision whilst whilst Herc had been met with only silence, and in their jealousy Herc murdered Nal. Yet I am left with questions. I am left thinking of the creature I felt watching me. I am left with dread. The technician offers me the Colossus Geobay schematic. Accept it. The technician passes me the schematic. As they do, their eyes beam with pride and sadness. Colossus Geobay. I have transmitted Nal's testament to my brethren, Traveler. What you have learned this day will spread amongst the Viking. It will change our people for the better. Gra. And if violence is required for change, so be it. As for you, you are not as pathetic as I once believed. You are no longer interloper. You are one of us, now until the end of time itself, enthroned in the glory of the Colossus. The technician waits anxiously to see my Colossus Exocraft in its full glory. I watch as I begin to forge an upgrade for my Exocraft mining laser, surrounded by schematics and charts. Agree to build the Colossus. Colossus is a fine craft. They say Herc and Nal rode one together before their end. 
Okay, so we gotta build it. We need five more metal plates. One, two, three, four, five. Thank heavens I got all that extra stuff. Uh, okay, let's build it. We have everything we need, right? We do. I hope. Alright. I'm actually gonna go into the other mode here and pull out. Go. I'm gonna put you right there. And there it is. Turn to the technician. I am gonna re go into the roamer, get out. Go. Okay. Have you constructed the Colossus Geobay? Have you struck terror into the hearts of those of all those who oppose you? Confirm. Rah, a careful answer. You must strike terror if you are to succeed in life, Traveler. You will subjugate this world and the power with the power of the Colossus. Here is an Exocraft vehicle laser upgrade to assist with the task. Advanced laser requires Pugnia. Okay. I have almost exhausted the limits of my work, but soon you shall have mastery of this planet's signals and the, with the, and the speed with which to reach any threat. I require only sufficient nanite clusters to build the final blueprints. Grah, this employment has been one of glory. The technician requires more nanite clusters to create an upgrade for my exocraft radar. Something is wrong. Some time ago, I saw the Viking with an image of their family before they performed some ritual to erase such attachments from their mind. As I approach now, I see that same image. The technician stares at it, blinking for a few moments with an empty expression. When they notice me, they remove the photograph from the display. We do not speak of it again. I do not wish to awaken their pain. They desire only nanite clusters, not my sympathy. Agree to the request. As I said before, be careful in those abandoned buildings, Traveler. Do not lose yourself in the hunt. Okay. We have to install the laser. Uh, let's see. Put it over here. Chromatic metal. We don't have the pugnium on us. I think it's in my ship. Yep. Installed. Okay. Well done. Just got to wait for the icon to appear over his head, and I think this might be coming to the close of the Exocraft dude. So, let me see what happens here. Let me check, make sure. Oh, it wasn't selected for some reason. Turn to the technician. There we go. That happens once in a while. I got to check that. Do you have the nanite clusters? Give them to me, please. Technician's hands shake. It is then that I notice the blueprint is, is already waiting on the technician's terminal. They require these nanite clusters for some alternative purpose. They are desperate for the substance, refusing to hand over the blueprints without them. Get the nanite clusters. Viking takes them greedily, turning to imbibe them. Whatever effect this matter has upon the alien appears to calm their movements considerably. Sated, they offer me the blueprints. And radar power resonator. We need 50 gold. That's okay, we got that. The nanite clusters... Their purpose is commonly misunderstood. They form the backbone of much technology, but they are not just machines. They can alter hearts, alter minds, even allow us to forget that which we cannot bear. Ah. A technician has a final reward. An acceleration module is upgraded for my Nomad Exocraft once I have constructed its Geobay. Accept. Good. Let me know when the Nomad Geobay is built. Gra, I cannot wait to witness its glory. Um. Yeah. We already did that. We turn to the technician, because we already did it. Our work is almost concluded, but every end is a beginning. I am too weak to travel as I once did, too tired to continue my pilgrimage. With your leave, I shall remain here to stand by your side against your enemies, Gra. Gra, woe betide those who would transgress, transgress against us. The technician offers me the final acceleration module upgrade. Take it. It has been a pleasure working with you, traveler. Return when you are ready. I have a proposition for you, a lucrative and repeatable venture. Okay. Traveler, I've detected a location of monetary interest. Go, that you you may hone control, your control of the Exocraft. Track the signal down before it disappears that we may siphon its units. The technician has hacked a terminal to siphon its units. If I get to the location fast enough, I will be able to transfer the units to my account. They spend their days doing this now, tending to the Exocraft and drawing data from interplanetary, interplanetary networks. Sometimes I see them walking out onto the planet itself to explore, but such times are rare. The technician is content with this retirement, engaging in fugitive activity for the pleasure of the chase, no longer for the necessity of survival. It is a game we can repeat. One last heist. After one last heist. 
Agree to go. Hurry. Gra. Okay. We have a booster module. Let's grab that. Put that in here. Over here. There we go. So that's all set. This, by the way, uh, the engines are recharged with carbon, oxygen, that kind of thing. So we'll just go ahead and recharge it anyway. Okay. Um, that, I think, we have to install the power resonator. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. That goes up here. One, two. We need gold. Let me post my ship over here. And we should have it now. There we go. That's done. So that, as you can see, is completing everything. We are complete. There is nothing more to do on that particular mission. We can return to him and do a mission every now and then that will allow us to go get credits from a credit terminal inside a um, uh, abandoned station of some sort. So it's no big deal. You don't have to do that. But that actually takes care of everything we need to do here. So we have our exocrafts. I don't think we have all of them. We do not. I thought we got them as a reward, but I guess we don't. Because uh, the one I like the most, I love the... Um, the motorcycle bike thing. I really like that a lot. I've been learning to like that as far as craft are concerned because it is just so fast and fun to drive. Um, so we will get more exocraft as time goes by, but for some reason we didn't get any more from him, and I'm finding that kind of odd. Well, let me grab my pyrite, by the way. Uh, I'm going to put that in the starship. There we go. All right. So that should do it. Let me just see. What else do we have to do? All right. So you're going to see this episode the Monday following the episode of the two hour episode so that's when this episode is going to be released and you'll see that it's a kind of a shorter episode just to complete things out and then next wednesday you're going to see a continuation now we could go and do more base building and stuff like that but there's really no reason to um, what i'm going to do next is we're going to do one more episode of ghost in the machine apollo the adventurer we're going to follow the, the line of artemis and then we're going to go and do under a rebel star so again i want to thank you all for watching our episode today obviously we want to take a quick run out here get to the ship in and out really need to rename the ship okay and there we go we got a restore point so we will see you guys in the next episode again please hit the like hit the subscribe button if you wish and we will see you again next time thank you very much for watching folks take care